Okay, so we go to the third talk of today. I'm pleased to introduce Professor Henryk Zoladek from Warsaw University of Poland, and he's going to talk about normal forms of planar vector fields. Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you for invitation. I'm the first time in Brazil and in IMPA, so I am enjoying uh, Rio de Janeiro, etc. I have some problems with uh, uh, going through the city, but I think the problems will be resolved. <coughs> so, uh, it is base, based on joint work with Eva Struzina. Uh, in fact, uh, oh, it is several papers already published. Uh, the uh, recent paper is in nonlinearity, and the referee wrote that uh, the, the talk, uh, t he thought that uh, these tools, these things, are well known, but he realized that not. So he thinks that from now they will become classical. So maybe, yes, maybe not. Anyway, uh, students should learn about it. Uh, So we study singularities of vector fields, and we try to uh, simplify uh, such singularity to most uh, simple form. Uh, the simplification is by changing of coordinates. And usually this change of, of coordinates is uh, only formal. Uh, the vector fields we assume is analytic, it is in C2, this means the planar vector fields. But sometimes uh, this change can be made analytic. And for some singularities, the answer is, was completely known, but uh, uh, it was for only for simple singularities, so-called elementary singularities. And the next, after elementary singularities, were nilpotent singularities. And even at formal level, for, for until Recently, the uh, unique normal form was not known. So we solved this problem. And I, I'm going to tell you about it. So we start with elementary singularity. So we have V0. Uh, v would be just V0, it is vector field plus higher order terms, where V0 is just lambda 1 x d over dx plus lambda 2 y d over dy. And lambda 1 is non-zero. Uh, here you can ask why I don't consider situation with a nilpotent linear part, uh, with a triangular linear part, but it is, it is a special case. I, I don't want uh, to uh, go into the detail. It is very easy, very easy. So here is important invariant of this linear part. Lambda is just lambda 2 over lambda 1. And maybe the uh, results, classical results. Uh, the focus case, where lambda is uh, non-real, uh, then the normal form is normal form is linear. So it is just V0 and analytic. So the change, the reduction is analytic. Another case is node where lambda is positive. Then the normal form 
is polynomial and also analytic. It is very uh, simple normal form. Uh, next case is non-resonant cedro. So it means that lambda belongs to Q, uh, to R minus uh, set, uh, and it is irrational. Non-resonant set rule. And in this case, the normal form is linear. Uh, but the analyticity of this normal form uh, depends on uh, how this lambda is approximated by rational, uh, rational numbers. Uh, if it satisfies so-called Bruno condition, then the normal form is uh, analytic. But generally, uh, for lambda from dense sub subset of just R minus Q and generic uh, perturbation, so it means this higher order terms here, so we can write this W. Uh, uh, the normal form is non-analytic. Uh, there is another situation, it is a resonant case resonance do so lambda belongs to q minus then uh, the normal form is known uh, okay uh, normal form is known but Generally, non-analytic. And uh, this non-analyticity is uh, explained in terms of so-called stock sphere uh, phenomena. I'll present you, uh, to you alternative approach to this non-analyticity. So next case is the bogdanov takin singularity. Uh, probably everyone of, of you uh, knows the Takens normal forms. What, what? Ah, uh, here, saddle node, lambda equals zero, is included into it, I will include it into this also. Mm -hmm, I include. Saddle node is a special case of, of resonance saddle. Takens normal form, it means that there is a reduction to y. Ah, so linear part is uh, near potent, so it is y d over dx, but additional terms can be reduced to a of x d over dx plus b of x d over dy. And recently it turned out that 
the change to this uh, to this form can be made analytic if the initial vector field is analytic. Okay, and uh, so it was in another paper of mine and Eva, and there's a, a geometrical proof by Frank Lore. Uh, but there's a problem with a reduction of further terms, for, of terms from, from this power series. Uh, so our approach is following. So using this, we can write V as follows, as VH plus W, where W would, would be perturbation, and VH is the leading, leading part, would be just Y plus lambda plus one, x to r, the other dx plus o minus lambda r, x to 2r minus 1, the other dy. Uh, so th this is just a of x, this is just b of x. So this is, uh, this is linear uh, initial terms from a and b. And uh, what, is, uh, what is the meaning? Oh, okay, okay. Ah, so this vector field is quasi homogeneous with respect to grading deck H, such that deck H of X is one and deck V of H of Y is R. And we uh, uh, admit that R can be integer, okay, no problem, but al also R can be uh, half integer minus Z, and then uh, lambda would be minus one. It is so-called generalized cusp. When, la when R is, uh, Three over half, so it is usual cusp singularity. Uh, okay, now the relation of this with the elementary singularities. So when we put z is x to r and divide by r x to r minus one, then we obtain linear vector field. And this linear vector field is of the following form. Y plus lambda plus one uh, z, d over dz minus lambda z, d over dy. Uh, so this is linear vector field associated with this vh. And here lambda is just uh, lambda two over lambda one is the ratio of eigenvalues for this, uh, for this vector field. So this is relation with elementary singularities. So with the, uh, our normal forms uh, is as, uh, the normal forms are different depending on a type of a singularity. So we say that Bogdanov's stuck in singularity is of type one. If uh, either lambda is not rational or uh, lambda is positive rational, so it is k over L. It is in Q. It is reduced ratio, and k and L are greater than one. So it is like in the elementary case. Uh, in this situation, the linear, the normal form is linear. Mm -hmm. But for for the 
stuck in singular, Bogdan of Takin's singular situation uh, is different, is it true? Uh, type two. Uh, this is analog of the resonant node, so lambda is k, oh, simply k, uh, analog to, to node, type three, I'll just remind in cases. So it is lambda uh, equals minus k over L, or lambda equals zero. All like here. Mm -hmm. So this is third case. So these are uh, two situations. Uh, first situation is just first case. Uh, yes, this is first or second. Uh, this is first, and this is third case. Ah, W is, is, is uh, are higher order terms with respect to this gradation, grading, mm -hmm. higher order terms. W is a perturbation. All like here, uh, we have just W. So here we have V0, V0 is uh, just linear, and here the leading, uh, ter leading part is VH. Up by initial terms of the of the Takin's normal form. So you, you take leading term if in A, leading term and B. So you know you, you need, need some work to, to obtain or to obtain this, but but it it, it is it works. Mm -hmm. uh, so now they obtained normal forms. They are just not, not in this, in, in this uh, shape. Uh, usually they are of the following type. Psi of x. Mm, here will be just vh plus phi of x eh. Uh, where eh is quasi-homogeneous uh, Euler vector field. It is x d over dx plus r y d over dy. And phi of x and psi of x are power series with a uh, uh, definite set of uh, non-zero coefficients. Um, so phi of x for example, is uh, we'll write it as uh, x to some p times uh, psa times phi of x, uh, where phi of zero is non-zero, and it be written also as sum over i belonging to in this set of indices of uh, phi a to i x to i. And similar psi, it would be just one plus x to q, q psi small of x. Uh, for example, For type uh, 
Uh, we have I of phi phi is just z greater or equal than r minus i1, where i uh, k is just set of j such that j plus k is zero modulo r. And also, uh, yes, mm -hmm. so some, uh, some coefficients are zero, some series of, of coefficients are zero, and similarly for uh, I of psi. Uh, sometimes this form uh, is not useful in applications, in, in, in analysis of conversions. Uh, so uh, the functions phi of x and psi of x would be uh, replaced by other functions. Also for type two, the, 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 the form is slightly different. Here, I, the, this term is uh, replaced by another table. I don't want to go into details. Maybe I give you the uh, answer, complete answer for just token singularity, but, uh, just uh, cast singularity. So take R equal three over two, and of course lambda equals minus one. Uh, then we have three possibilities. <coughs> ah, we take here F would be just y square minus x cube and three cases. Uh, phi is a f to n plus x phi one of f, where phi one is uh, of f o to n. Another is that phi is phi zero of f plus a x f to n. Uh, ah, and here, here psi. Psi is Ah, just one uh, plus x uh, psi one of f uh, psi is uh, psi zero of, of f, where phi zero is of o f to n plus one. And another possi possibility is that phi is uh, identically zero and psi is just one plus x psi one of f. Okay, so there are three, three cases of uh, nor normal form. And these are all. Uh, maybe one more remark. Sorry, do these psi are different? Psi? What? Q psi of x. So it is one, one choice of normal form, and uh, here there is an, another choice. Yeah. Oh. My mm -hmm. question is about the psi that you write here. Here? Yeah. Uh, so the power series becomes, uh, starts from one, plus uh, the next term starts from x to q. What, what? You have on the psi? left you have a psi, on the right phi. Here is phi and here is psi. Yeah. And then on the, the right far I. right you have a psi. Psi, psi. Mm -hmm. Ps small psi. This is capital psi. Yeah, so it is another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, you know, this part in braces is just uh, orbital normal form. 
and this psi of x is orbital factor. Ah, generally, for this singularity, Bogdanov taken singularity, uh, we have three times, but the list of normal forms includes seven cases. Seven cases, they, they, uh, they can be written, they are not, uh, not simple, so I don't present them. Uh, Eva Struzina considers situation when V0 V0 is quasi uh, quadratic homogeneous. And there is also complete classification. Uh, here there are uh, 12 types, and the list of normal forms uh, contains uh, 28 positions. So it is quite complicated. Anyway, it, 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 it is finished. It is, uh, it is unique. Uh, now the next question is about analyticity. Of normal forms obtained. Or for example, of this normal form. Uh, and I present you some theorems and maybe some of the, uh, and give you uh, ideas of the proof. So theorem one, so it is of course, for Bogdanov Takens. For the elementary situation, uh, you know the answer. Or maybe you already forgot it. Theorem 1 if lambda is not real, then corresponding normal form is analytic. Lambda is positive also analytic theorem three uh, lambda uh, r minus minus q then what we have for Lambdas from a dense set and generic perturbation W uh, normal form is non analytic. Theorem four. Assume that uh, uh, res assume resonant case, so type three, so lambda is minus k over L, then uh, and P is less than infinity, so this P here, this is a leading term in this coefficients before E of uh, phi. Uh, then normal form is generically, gener generally non analytic. And if pay, 
and if p is infinity, if p is infinity, that means that this term with uh, Euler vector field doesn't exist. Uh, so the orbital normal form is just the initial vector field, is, G, is just VH. Uh, then normal form is analytic. Uh, this is abs in absolute analogy with the elementary situation. Yes. Yes, but uh, our approach is not through Stokes phenomena, but through uh, some. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Divergence, divergence of normalization. Some. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let me see how many times I have. Twelve. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm happy. So now about uh, the proof and about our approach. Proofs. So everything is new. You know, normal form is the section to the action of a group of uh, germs of diffeomorphies on the space of vector fields or with some uh, given linear part. Uh, so when we have the changes, we'll be following that x, y goes to G1, Z of X, Y, it means uh, time one flow of a vector field Z. Or oh, you can write uh, is it as X Z of X, Y when we are uh, working in uh, Lie algebra, uh, Lie group of formal germs of uh, formal changes and Lie algebra, it's Lie algebra is the uh, Lie algebra of vectors, it's for, of formal vectors. Um, so after such change, we have a, a joint map at just X, Z star on V and we know that it is V plus add a joint operator of uh, okay, V and here Z plus of Z square, where this is just commutator VZ. And we want to know uh, the, the kernels of this map and um, even more importantly, co-kernel. So the, the choice of the uh, space uh, complementary to image of this operator, it defines uh, our normal form, yes? So the, this operator is just Z, goes to add, VZ, it is not easy operator even from algebraic uh, point of view. And, peop, uh, and natural is to split this operator into some simpler operators uh, acting on uh, <laughs> replacing the two dimensional problem to some one dimensional problems. And usual approach, for example, by Bider, Sanders and was to split the space of vector fields, Z or, or, or just WV, into uh, vector fields which are Hamiltonian, so divergence less, 
And the vector fields which uh, have non-zero divergence, so they are special form, and they, they would be just proportional to quasi-homogeneous vector field. So we, when we take uh, V is just initial vector field, which is quasi-homogeneous plus perturbation. And that approach turned, uh, is not uh, successful because the operator is not, not easy. Written in monomial basis, these operators are behave uh, not, not correctly. Our choice is uh, alternative and successful. Okay. So ZD would be just space of functions, uh, polynomials. F is D. So here the degree is either standard degree in our situation or just quasi-homogeneous degree. In general situation, it would be quasi-homogeneous degree. And, and Z is just, um, say, C. Oh, okay, of X, Y. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it is, sorry, 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 it is F. F, F, and Z is just space of vector fields. Uh, so vector fields Z such that degree of Z, ah, oh, here is D, is D, and also we have analogous space Z. Uh, in our situation, we will have V, generally it will be V0 plus uh, higher order terms, where V0 is either linear or just VH, or homogeneous quadratic. Uh, okay. Now some operators. Okay, we have operator eight V H V Z, which is just commutator V Z and A of V on F would be just F times V. V is just here. Uh, B of V times Z, acting on Z, it would be just uh, V, which product with Z, divided by dx times dy. So it is by vector field, and by vector field is just the uh, function the, uh, the, uh, dx over dy. Uh, C of uh, v on f is just v of f acting of vector field uh, on f d of v f it would be just v of f minus divergence of v times f such operators I introduce now a diagram zero F C F zero zero F Z F zero here. So here would be A of V, here would be B of V, here we have add V, and here we have C of V, here we have D of V. Where these are these operators? So this 
are called homological operators. And these diagrams in uh, the rows of this diagram are so-called uh, Kochul complexes. And they are complexes, it is easy. And what is more important? Important are following facts. This diagram is commutative. Uh, next, if lambda is different from zero, so this is, means elementary singularity or Bogdanov Taken singularity, then rows are exact. Uh, if lambda equals zero, then there is some additional work, additional analysis is needed. I don't go to, to, to details. Uh, so from this property, it follows that this operator uh, D is split into two operators, into C of V and D of V. And it's very precise uh, on corresponding space. This, place, this placing is very concrete. Now, other important properties. Uh, what is the ker kernel of COV? Oh, COV is uh, simple. It is a derivative of f with respect uh, in the direction of v. So uh, these are first integrals of. Uh, what is kernel of D of V? These are so-called inverse, ah, so Fe, Fi, inverse integrating multipliers. I, I, M, it means that, uh, M, so we have situation such that divergence of one over M V is zero. And this is, it follows from uh, calculations. So example, how it works. So here would be elementary singularity. There are, would be elementary. And here will be Bogdan of Takens. So for type one, so it is car C ah, of V0 is car D of V0 is zero. Also here, type two. Uh, type two, uh, I recall that it is a node, a resonant node. For elementary case, it is one to k resonant node. So here, care c of v zero is zero. Here, care c of v h is zero. But uh, care D of V0 uh, is 
c times uh, okay x two k plus one, and here care kernel of d of v h is c times uh, y plus x to r r to k plus one. Uh, type three. So here care c of v zero would be just c of x to k y to l. I recall that type three is just uh, k to l resonant uh, set rule. Uh, and care of d of v zero. <sighs> ah, it is just x, y. Yes, 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 uh, times uh, okay, C uh, formal C of um, X to K, Y to L. Here, kernel C of V zero is C of F, F0, F0 is X plus R, oh, y, sorry, Y plus X to R to K, and Y plus la lambda X to R times L. Here, lambda is minus K over L. Uh, so it F0 is some elementary, some, yeah, no elementary, some principal first integral. And y plus x to r equals 0, y plus x to r equals 0 are just invariant lines for this uh, vector field V0. And uh, kernel of D of V0 is just, uh, ah, so it would be just F1. To k f2 to all, so it would be f1 f2 uh, times c of f0. So they are very simple kernels. And moreover, what is important? We can describe uh, co kernels, uh, images, images, images of, of these of this operators. Uh, I say about, you know, in the elementary case, the situation is uh, quite simple. Uh, so I describe them in the uh, Bogdanov. Takin's case, and also in Struzina case. Uh, uh, we might just all, yes, yes. So define omega C of G would be principal value of some integral Generally divergent from minus one to lambda, okay. G tilde of u du uh, divided by u plus one to alpha plus one, u plus lambda to beta plus lambda. So it is period of Schwarz Christoffel function. Uh, usually alpha and beta are positive, they are depend on concrete situation. So for this integral we can use just Pochhammer circle. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, G tilde 
is associated with uh, G. So G of XY would be just, G is homogeneous, X to D and G tilde of U. U is uh, Y over X to R. And we obtain that image of omega C, of uh, C of V, zero, V H, okay, is set of odd. Okay, okay. Uh, restricted to the space of polynomial functions. Uh, it is space of G uh, in FD, such that omega C of G is zero. And similarly, similarly for D. Using this criterion, we can say uh, which function belongs to this image and which doesn't belong to image. We are interested in the functions which do not belong to image. Uh, okay. So I think I can finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's thanks. <laughs> Questions? Do you have also a normal form in the nonlinear case? Nonlinear means non elementary. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> In the elementary case, yes, uh, in the Bogdanov Takin singularity, and uh, in the Struzina case, Struzina case when is when V zero is homogeneous quadratic. There are all, all all cases, all normal forms. And you always have a, a this linear part, is it? Yes, yes, yes. The, the linear part situation with linear part is just elementary or uh, the uh, Bogdan of Takens, uh, nilpotent. Ah, well, final final remark that uh, what we have that kernel of the operator y d over d x. Uh, uh, commutator. Uh, ah, okay. Kernel of at. Uh, restricted to FD is two dimensional. This operator associated with uh, Y over DX is the, just the op homological operator used in the proof of the Takens theorem. Uh, so, on each space of homogeneous polynomials, it is uh, two-dimensional, so it is huge kernels. It, uh, it implies that there is a, uh, a lot of uh, room for further reductions. More questions? Okay, let's thanks again.